Hi guys, welcome back. We are back on the mat today for this back body blowout workout. So this workout is going to be postural. We're going to be working upper back, mid back, lower back, even into the glutes. So that's pretty much everything. So if you're ready to work the back body, go ahead, roll out your mat and let's do it. Alrighty, so we have a few things to get through on this one, so we're going to crack into it in just a second. Really quickly though, if you're new here, my name is Sarah. I do a lot of kind of bar and Pilates style workouts, um, sometimes a little bit of yoga, sometimes some cardio thrown in there, all kinds of crazy stuff. But today's workout obviously is postural, so an excellent one if you are a desk worker especially. We're just going to open everything up, strengthen the whole back body so you're going to be standing nice and tall. We got a visitor today. This is Layla. <laughs> She's going to come along for the ride. So if you are new here, I would love to have you back. We're here twice per week. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss anything. All right, let's give it a little, a little stretch out. So I want you to take fingertips to the tops of shoulders here. Two little chicken wings. We're just going to circle back. So just finding a nice range of motion in the shoulders. Hello. This is, um, this is still a kitten, <laughs> believe it or not, she's still a kitten. So yeah, she's a big, beautiful girl. She's a Maine Coon. Go ahead, circle forward. She's still growing. So she's uh, about a year and a half now and they can grow up to like four or five years. Surprise. <laughs> we didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into. Last one there, and then release. Just go ahead, swing the arms out a little bit here. But she is beautiful. She's a beautiful girl, so feel free to leave your greetings for her down below. She's about to celebrate her second Christmas. Yay! <laughs> there we go. And then I want you to just go ahead, sit back on the butt here, hands underneath. We're still just warming up, feet planted. And you're going to lift up here, hold here for a second. So stretching across the chest, fronts the shoulders, and it's also just working the back body. See if you can release, swing the butt back between the hands, pause in that little L sit with butt lifted, and then lift right back up. We'll just do a few of these. Really nice one again for the range of motion in the shoulders. And yeah, Layla's here to show her support. And do one more. Whoop. And go ahead, release. And we're gonna come all the way back down to start. So most everything that we're gonna be doing today is gonna be one minute. So I got my trusty timer here because the timer in my head is not as trusty. <laughs> Feet planted here, hip distance apart, knees in line, track over toes, classic bridge lift. So we're just going to lift the butt, squeeze, and tap it to floor. Go ahead. Exhale, lift, squeeze. Inhale, tap to floor. Pushing heels down, really squeezing from the butt. So try not to lift with the lower back. It's also a really nice um, stretch for the fronts of hip flexors. So again, if you have been sitting in a chair, sitting at a desk all day, that could be an area <laughs> that needs to be addressed, quite possibly. So yeah, it's usually, if you've been sitting at a desk, look at the areas that hurt, it's usually hip flexors in the front. Could be a little bit lower back, which is coming from the hip flexors. And then it tends to be that kind of like upper back, neck, shoulder area. So my best advice for that would be to get up out of your desk, move around periodically. Um, Cause it's just not good. It's just not good to be at a desk. On this next one, stay lifted. And we're just gonna pulse it here. So a little tie in release, squeeze. Release, it's like a little tuck, a little airborne tuck. So release the glutes. Squeeze the glutes tight. So pause in that squeeze. I never like to take these ones too fast because it's out of control when it's fast. So I really want you to control it. Hold the squeeze each time. Now, unfortunately, take a little look here. I think 
think Layla might be a little bit in the way for what we're gonna do next, but I can always just reposition myself. <laughs> I'm used to it. House of Cats. Keep going here. She loves this mat as well, so I don't wanna like, I don't wanna push her off the mat when she loves it so much. Few more seconds. Especially because I did just pull her out of my closet, which is her actual favorite spot ever. All right, last one, stay up. I'm just gonna shimmy myself <laughs> back a little bit, and then we're gonna be walking forward here. So keep the butt elevated, we go heel down, heel a little bit farther, step, step, <laughs> bring it in, 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 in. So two steps on either side, we go out, 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 heel down, toes up, in, 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 in. So you should be feeling the whole back of the leg up to the glute. Woo! Full minute here as well. Out, 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 in, in. I wish I could have my timer on the ceiling so I don't have to like <laughs> keep lifting my head to look at it. That'd be nice. I'm gonna invent something or just put a big timer somewhere else. Last one here, you're gonna march out. We're gonna stay out in that long bridge. Touch the butt to floor, so heels down, toes up. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So it's not gonna be the same range of motion, obviously, as it was for that first bridge lift, the classic, because we are a little bit more extended here. We're working a little bit more into the hamstrings. So really the shelf for our butt. I feel like I'm all cattywampus now that I've like slid back on the mat. Uh, life with cats. My partner sent me a hilarious post from Facebook this morning that was about like, it was really long. It was about how like cats are necessary to remove negative energy from spaces and the correct ratio of cats to humans is one to one so that they can like <laughs> remove all of your negative energy and then release it during their sleep. Stay up on this next one and we're gonna pulse it here as well. This is the last thing in this bridge series. Little pulses here. Um, so yeah, we actually have three cats and we are but two. So I was like, wow, so we should just have like a surplus of positive energy because we're eliminating so much negative energy. <laughs> and Layla's eliminating the most because she's like two cats in one. So yeah, correct ratio of cats. I'm, you know, I'm all about it. I love, I love cats, <laughs> obviously. I love cats, one cat per human, yes. Yes, yes. In fact, why stop there? One and a half cats per human. One and a half, two cats per human. <laughs> How many is too many? I don't know. <laughs> now in our current space, three is, three is good. Three is good. A few more here and release. All right, go ahead, hug the knees into the chest. We're gonna rock up. Boom, to a seated position. There we go. We're still gonna be working some of those same areas though. Plus, we're gonna add in a little chest expansion. So, similar to that one we did in the warm up, but we're not gonna swing here. Hands on your shoulders. You're just gonna lift, squeeze, touch butt to floor. Arms will stay straight. Lift, squeeze, touch down. So, pausing at the top, keep it going. Navel pulling down tight. Should be feeling hamstrings and glutes at this point. But we're just gonna keep going with them. They are supporting the lower back. So yeah, especially if you do tend to have lower back pain. We're kind of starting everything with lower back. Don't worry, we're gonna wrap around to upper back as well. But we're starting lower, working glutes and hamstrings, stretching out the fronts of the hips. So yeah, really the perfect workout if you are a desk worker. Layla doesn't even know what that means. She's like, desk worker? I've never even seen a desk in my life. We don't have a desk. What is a desk? 
One more here. She lives a really spoiled life. All right, stay up. Turn fingertips so they're pointing toward the backs of the heels here. Shoulders save her wrists. Let the butt hang just dead weight. Tricep dips. So we're bending elbows, press up. Bend elbows, press up. So we're not lifting with the butt this time. Turn the butt off, deactivate. Make sure you're keeping shoulders over the wrists and not coming forward of them. A minute here is a lot. It doesn't have to be a huge range. Lady Layla, Lady Layla here. I'm really surprised she stayed here this long. <laughs> it's not really like her. Could be problematic for our next exercise, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it in just under 10 seconds. Here's four, three, two, one, release. There we go. All right, shake out the wrists here. My darling, <laughs> my darling one. I'm trying to figure out if I can move a little bit farther back. I guess so. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to just work around. Try to work around this one, because after all, she is removing all of the negative energy from the environment, so I'll get out of her way. All right, so you're gonna be face down here. Legs nice and long, push into the tops of the feet. Arms are gonna reach out in a V shape, and we're just gonna be lifting the torso here. Let's do it. So exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Notice legs are not lifting for now. Back of the neck stays long, so don't throw your head back. Hello, gorgeous. Isn't she beautiful? I know I'm biased. I know I'm biased. I'm like, I have the most beautiful children in the world. But look at her. And then we've got Leo back there. Oh, they're just great. They're just perfect. They know they are. They're used to hearing it. Actually, so is our whole building, I'm pretty sure, because anytime I get home, I walk in the door and I greet them super enthusiastically and tell them about how beautiful and perfect they are and how much I miss them. One more here. You're gonna stay lifted and we're gonna squeeze elbows back, squeeze shoulder blades, reach that V again. So exhale, squeeze, inhale, reach. Again, just keeping back of the neck long, in line with the spine, Exhale, squeeze, inhale, reach. So moving into middle at upper back. Should still work in the lower back a little bit as well. Back body, that's our theme today. Layla is here for it. Keep it going. I know these ones are not easy. They're not really meant to be easy though. <laughs> and what I find is the longer you've spent sitting at a desk, the harder these ones are gonna feel, which means the more necessary they are. Do one more here, whoop, and release. So we're gonna release the upper body, relax it. Now we're gonna shift our attention to the lower body. So this is gonna be back into the glutes and hamstrings. Do I have enough space to lift there? I think I do. <laughs> I think I have just enough. Uh, legs shoulder distance apart, knees locked straight. We're just gonna lift both legs. So here we go. Squeeze the butt, low lift, release. That's it. Low lift, release. Make sure that you are not cheating by bending the knees. So I said knees locked straight here. So the squeeze is coming from the butt. So sometimes I see people cheat these in person, obviously I can't see you through your computer. Sometimes in person I see people cheat these by just bending the knees. So it looks like you're doing a bigger lift than you actually are. But guess what? The butt isn't actually doing anything. And where is the fun in that? Oh, hi, gorgeous. Hi, hi, my darling. <laughs> my favorite thing about Layla so if you guys have seen the other cats, or even if you haven't, the other cats, their faces really suit their personalities. Do one more here. And this next one, keep the legs lifted, flex the feet. We're gonna curl, 
extend. So exhale, curl, inhale, extend. Keeping the legs just lifted a little bit. Push fully through the heels, so all the way to straight knees. Yes, so Luna and Leo, I think, have faces that very much fit their personalities. Like, their behavior is exactly kind of as you would expect it to be, just like looking at them. Layla, no, <laughs> not so much. Like, her face is super, super serious. She's Maine Coon, they have serious faces. Hi, oh, hi there. Layla. What is that smell? Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, so her face is super, super serious. Um, but her personality is extremely goofy. Last one here. And release. And that is my favorite thing about this one. Arms reach forward here again. We're going to put everything together. So we're just going to do 10 reps of each of these. Oh, your butt does not smell good. Uh, we're just going to do 10 reps of these. So first, we're just going to lift everything. So inhale. On the exhale, we lift, keep it straight, and release. Whew. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release. Yeah, does anybody else have experience with Maine Coons? Do you know if they're like typically, if they typically have quite goofy personalities? She's really goofy. Like, <laughs> she just does goofy things. She's funny. Do a couple more here. She is still a kitten though as well, so that could be a part of it. Hold this next one. We're gonna curl the legs, squeeze elbows back, reach forward, just 10 of these. So press everything in, reach it long. I think that is part of it because she's quite a bit bigger than our other like fully grown adult cats. Um, so when she acts like a kitten, it just seems extra goofy to me because <laughs> I forget that she's a kitten. A few more here. Which she is, she's just a little baby. And one last one, squeeze, reach, release. Press back to a child's pose here. Let's just give the body, the back body, a little bit of a stretch. And then we'll get to our little finale, which is not bad at all. The finale, you'll notice we've kind of moved from like lower back body into the middle, kind of all back body with that last series. And we're going to finish with purely upper. So shoulders, upper back, all of that. So come up to seated here. It's actually going to be in a seated position. So you can just be kneeling um, and we're going to be tilting forward. So I'll show you actually kind of on a diagonal. Um, we're going to be tilted forward here from the hips. Back is nice and long. Arms are the, what I call these weird like zombie arms out to the side. We got wings and we're going to be alternating, lifting one at a time. So tilt forward, arms out, let's go. So squeeze shoulder blade and down, squeeze shoulder blade and down. I'm trying to Keeping my hand a little bit hovering here on the right so that I'm not bothering Her Majesty. A lot of cat talk today, but a lot of cat presence today. Oh no, <laughs> she's getting excited. She's like, what are you doing? Again, neck in line with the spine here. Hi. Hi, my darling, don't attack, please. I love you. Don't attack. Don't attack. Get back to removing negative energy. And then sleep it off all day. Pull navel in tight here as well. If the lower back is hurting supporting here, you can always come up a little bit higher in it as well. And then we're gonna do double. So straight into it, double squeeze, release, squeeze, Release, crack an egg now between the shoulder blades each time. Like I said, keep abs really tight. You can think about tucking tailbone under here. That's kind of always the rule for um, keeping lower back nice and neutral and supported. A little bit of a tuck of the tailbone and then squeezing abs tight. So it's a position that we find in a lot of exercises because it's a good one to come back to just during daily life. <laughs> 
I guess I'm just gonna be leaving this mat here for a while today, <laughs> indefinitely. We have so many weird things, honestly, like around the house where it's just like, well, one of the cats decided they like it this way. I guess, I guess this is how it is now. House of cats. It's their world, we just live in it. And then, hello, stay lifted here, and we're gonna pulse. So just little squeeze, squeeze. So should be getting a little bit tired there, upper back and shoulders. Keep going with it, it is a great postural one. If you guys live with pets, is it their world? Or is it your world? <laughs> Who's in control? I feel like usually it is the pets. They're in control, which is fine. That's why we got them. That's why we have them. I would, I would rather just live in their world. I'd rather just live in their orbit. <laughs> they do their part too. They bring great joy and destruction. Joy and destruction. At least it's balanced. No, they haven't destroyed anything in a really long time. Leo used to be pretty destructive. He was the worst by far as a kitten. Last one here, sit up nice and tall. Arms are gonna do out to the side, soft bend, the elbows, palms up. We're gonna twist from the shoulders, push back. So we open up, push back. Squeezing shoulder blades together each time you twist back. Hello. She has not been so bad for destroying things. Nope. And not Luna either. Really just Leo. <laughs> Leo went through a period, mostly as a kitten, but probably a little bit extended, where his favorite thing to chew was any kind of white cord specifically. Well, what has white cords? Any Apple product, like the most expensive ones to replace. So headphones, he went through a number of my computer cables back in the day, which like, those are not cheap to replace. Not cheap at all. Do one more here. At release. Roll out the shoulders. Whoo, they should be feeling fiery. We'll give it a stretch out here. So cross one arm in front of the chest, pull it over. And then his other favorite thing to destroy. <laughs> Any of my sports bras or like anything that had like a thin strap, we'd hang it on the line and I would come to pull my stuff off line only to discover that it had all been chewed through. That was baby Leo. Take that same hand between the shoulder blades, press it back. But he was the cutest kitten ever. So basically all of his bad behavior, we just never trained him out of it because it was impossible. I was just like, you are so bad, but you're the cutest thing in the entire world and I can't discipline you. Go ahead, release, other side. <laughs> I'm a I'm a very big like pushover cat parent. I would say like I mean we're both pretty big pushovers. If it came down to it, take that hand out between the shoulder blades overhead. I'm probably more of the good cop and my partner is probably more of the bad cop. Um I'm probably the bigger pushover. <laughs> Hands behind, press back. I just, I can't. They're so cute. I look at them and I'm just like, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> destroy whatever you want to destroy. I don't care. And then release. Give it a roll, roll out. Come onto the knees here. We'll just do a quick little back body kind of glute stretch. Um, so step right foot to the outside right hand. We're in this nice kind of <laughs> nice little lizard position. Sink down into it. You can also take a bit of a twist with it. Really release the hip. And go ahead, switch sides. But also, how do you discipline cats? How? If you have any tips, let me know. And then step back here. So finally, just go ahead and open up the knees, toes together, extend back into a child's pose. You can give the hips a little wiggle out here. 
yeah, I like to take a little bit of a sway side to side just to uh, feel into any last areas of holding on to the attention and release there. And walk the hands in. Come up to seated. That is us done with this back body workout. So I'm definitely feeling it. I hope that you guys are too. I hope that you are standing nice and tall today and feeling good. Great workout to come back to regularly. Again, if you're a desk worker, just keep coming back to it. Once is not enough. But I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Hit that like button down below if you did. And of course, be sure that you are subscribed so that you can see more workouts like this and all sorts of different things. And let me know down below in the comments what you would like to see more of. And send Layla your greetings. Send her your greetings. All right, we will see you guys soon. Bye.